After dabbling with the now infamous Windows 11 leak for a few hours now, I've come away with a surprising conclusion. It's starting to feel a lot like Mac OS. Now hear me out. I think the main thing I'm seeing here in Windows 11, at least at this early stage, is that it's all about decluttering the interface. And that seems like a major goal for Microsoft at this point. It has some of the optimizations we were expecting from Windows 10X, uh, but overall, I'm just getting a lot of Mac vibes here. I think the most obvious difference at first is the center taskbar. It works just like it has since Windows 95, where you could just hit the start menu or you're running apps or whatever you pin there, but it's right in the center, which just feels a little weird and different. I also can't find any options to turn on labels, which is the way I've always run, you know, Windows, Windows 7, 8, and 10 by default just give you app icons, uh, but I was always able to turn on those labels so I could hit a specific window, um, you know, without hovering over it. Now those are gone in this Windows 11 leak. After a few hours though, I think I've gotten used to it. You can still hover your mouse over an app icon and see the specific windows and click from there. But overall, it's just a cleaner interface. And I've noticed, you know, I have an ultra wide monitor. My taskbar usually looks like a huge mess. Um, this is just a lot cleaner and probably makes more sense for smaller screens and laptops too. And don't forget like the centered look just gives everything a Mac OS vibe as well. That OS has always been about the center dock, although you can put that in different areas of the screen. And Mac OS has always focused uh, on icons, high resolution icons. So Microsoft just has a lot more of that going for it now. It's a small change, but coupled with removing the taskbar titles entirely, it goes a long way towards making Windows 11 feel cleaner. Now, if you're a Windows diehard, don't worry, you can still shove that taskbar right to the left side of the screen. But honestly, I didn't really want to. Uh, I like the centered look. Uh, it tends to balance out the screen too if you don't have too many apps open, um, but you have your choice, which is nice. This Windows 11 leak also shows us a revamped start menu, which is probably gonna be pretty controversial too. Um, it's a big change from Windows 10. Now when you hit it, you see a collection of pinned app shortcuts at the top. There's some app suggestions right below it. And to see the entire start menu, you have to hit the all apps button. The last time Microsoft made a huge change to the start menu, they gave us the Windows 8 full screen start page and everybody hated it. I hated it. It felt slow and clunky and didn't feel like Windows, you know? Our lives typically revolved around the start menu. Now I think this is a smart change. Um, the start menu is still the focus of where you'll be going in Windows. Um, you just won't always be browsing through the entire start menu and I don't think you have to. Uh, for the past few years in Windows 10, I just hit the Windows key on my keyboard and start typing and that searches for an app pretty quickly. And if I just wanna have a collection of quick shortcuts, I'd rather have these pinned icons uh, instead of the blocky squares uh, that Microsoft was using on Windows 10 and that start menu. Um, this seems really balanced and clean. I think overall Microsoft is just trying to ease us into a world where we don't have to fish around the entire start menu. I wouldn't be surprised if that just goes away entirely. Um, I don't blame them. Microsoft also added a smart way to snap windows without dragging them around. Uh, in Windows 10, there were these auto snapping uh, you know, features, which could just shove a window on one side if you dragged it over to a corner or to the side of the screen. Uh, those were kind of clunky. Um, they didn't always work the way I wanted. Now, if you hover your mouse over the maximize icon, the top right of the screen, you'll get a couple options, uh, a couple different places where you could just send that window. So it could be the left side of the screen or the bottom right. Um, when you hit it, the screen just goes right there. It seems pretty simple. And honestly, I think this could fundamentally change the way I work. Um, I love using a lot of windows and a lot of different apps. So being able to put you know, Spotify in a corner and Slack in another, full screen and Evernote uh, file that I'm working on um, and be able to move around and do it all pretty quickly and dynamically is gonna be really, really fun. And honestly, I think this is one area where Windows and Microsoft in general is leagues ahead of Mac OS. You know, Apple has always made their software platforms about style and design. I hate managing Windows on Macs, um, you know, without the expose feature, which lets you, you know, blow up all the windows and just see everything running for one app or all the windows you have open altogether. I don't think I'd have a lot of fun maneuvering through Mac OS. Beyond the taskbar, start menu, and snapping updates, there are a couple other visual changes, which just makes Windows 11 feel a little more modern, I'd say. The, uh, the window corners are slightly rounded now, so rounded that you'll probably barely even notice it. Like this isn't a Windows XP situation, uh, but it's a little cleaner, which uh, I just kind of like. You'll also notice some revised app icons throughout the OS, especially in the File Explorer. So it doesn't just feel like you're using, you know, icons that have been around since Windows XP days. I could still find some of those in Windows 10. So I'm hoping Microsoft just does a clean sweep here. 
There are also some new system sounds. There's a new startup sound. Though if you're using a Windows Hello laptop, you'll probably log in so quickly you won't even hear it. Um, you know, it's nice to have new things. That's a good novelty. It's also nice to see the Xbox app integrated directly into the OS. Uh, in Windows 10 right now, I believe it's a beta app that you have to download from the store. Uh, I expect to see Microsoft do better at just bringing in all of its different services and apps. So maybe we'll see more of that new Microsoft Store we've been hearing about, which could have different types of apps, you know, and make lives easier for Windows developers. And as an overall OS, I want to see you know, how Windows 11 is going to work on dual screen devices. I hope the Surface Neo isn't dead entirely. Also, Microsoft just has to do a lot better about bringing Windows to ARM laptops and ARM devices. So maybe Windows 11 could be the key there. So far, Windows 11 just feels like a slight update to Windows 10. And uh, that makes sense. Uh, this all started out as Windows 10X two years ago. That was for dual screen devices. Last year, they said it was going to be for single screen devices. Now it's just going to be a big update for everybody. And I think it's better to do it that way. It lets everybody kind of celebrate a new version of Windows. And um, it does work well as an upgrade too. I was able to put this leaked version of 11 on an existing Windows 10 machine. All my apps carried over. Everything works just fine. But remember, we're looking at a very early version of the OS here. And uh, from what I'm hearing, this is an incomplete version of an early build. So we'll expect to see more down the line. And certainly next week, we'll probably see more features announced by Microsoft at their big Windows 11 event. I think if Microsoft sticks with the core idea of this Windows 11 leak that we're seeing, that's all about decluttering and making Windows a little cleaner and easier to use, at the very least, we don't have to worry about Windows 11 being another Windows 8. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for more Windows 11 news or whatever they end up calling it, uh, more software updates. If you dug this video, be sure to like and subscribe.